Howdy folks, this is Justin at Metcalf Mills bringing you Fun Fact Friday because this day and time, facts are hard to come by. Today, we're going to be talking about one of our favorite things around here. Definitely one of my favorite things in life, one of Virginia's favorite things in life, and one of Charlotte's favorite things in life until she tries it and then she might change her mind. I hope you enjoy. Folks, I'm going to have to say good morning on this video because we're going to make some coffee in our drip -a later coffee pot. I'm going to show you how we do it here at the Metcalf Mills. All right, folks, this is our lifetime drip -a later type coffee pot. And the way this thing works... You got your pot. You've got your upper chamber see those little holes in the bottom you've got an inner cover it goes right down in that slot which is just right around here so this is all open down here and the beautiful thing about this coffee pot you don't have to have filters uh, some of the store-bought coffee I'll put a small filter in the bottom just because it's ground so fine that it goes straight a lot of it goes through into the coffee pot, which is not a big deal. Sometimes I drink it that way. I don't care, but most of the time I'll cut a little bottom out of a coffee filter and put it right down in the bottom. If you grind your own coffee, you grind it just a little bit coarse, it won't go through. It works really well, and you don't have to buy filters. So the way this works, that goes in top. What I'll do is just take a regular coffee filter because I've got quite a few here and I've done it enough to know about the right spot to trim it. Try to put the whole filter in there. It just kind of don't work as good. Sometimes it don't seal off the bottom and you don't get as much time. The coffee being in the hot water and real slow drip like you want. So I make a little coffee filter disc. And I'll just put it right down in the bottom, flatten it out real good, just like that. Put our coffee in. I usually put about four scoops in this pot. bit more for good measure all right now what you do now is your inner cover it's got some real tiny holes right here and the inner cover sets right above the coffee so it creates that chamber and you pour your hot water in here and it very slowly goes down through your coffee to get all the flavor out of there. Ever since I discovered an electric kettle, I absolutely love it. It's easy to get, get your hot water when you need it. What I do on this rig is I like my coffee water to be around 185 degrees, 180 to 185 is what I've found to give me the best flavor out of my coffee. So what I do, I got this little thermometer, probably a meat thermometer. I just drop it right down in the spout and I can see right there exactly what it's getting to and when it gets to about 180 185 that's when i'll pour my coffee we're there mom is out Let 
usually don't go all the way to the top, maybe a half inch or so down. Put the lid on. And that's it. You just wait on that baby to drip a late. Can you hear it drip a lighting? I hope you can hear it. I want to make it clear that the drip elator coffee pot, the original drip elator, is aluminum. And I don't use aluminum, nor I don't want aluminum. The one I have is stainless steel, and it's a lifetime brand. I learned about this method of making coffee from a buddy of mine. And it's, I think the Amish use this method a lot because it's easy if you've got hot water. These things are great to take camping or whatever. You can have a real good coffee real easily. So I wanted to make that clear. It's not aluminum. It's stainless steel, my pot. Now, we'll, after it's drained all the way, pick our top up. Our lid on. Folks, that's today's fun fact. We've got good coffee here at the Millworks, and that's how we make it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully got a couple videos coming out very soon in the next few days. I'll be watching for those. If you ain't subscribed to my channel yet, why don't you go ahead and do that? Hit that like button and give me a comment and let me know what you think. It's always good to hear from all you fine people out there. I really appreciate y'all. This is Justin at Metcalf Mills wishing you all a happy Friday. Try to spend a little bit of time this weekend watching Metcalf Mills videos. I look forward to seeing you next time.